Megan Hicks of I Run Far. I'm with Courtney DeWalter. It's a couple days before the 2021 UTMB. Here we are again. Here we are. <laughs> I feel like our color coordination is really good today. Yeah. No, it looks great. The viewers at home cannot see your shorts, but we're like... <laughs> she has this color shorts on right now. <laughs> Wait, this is an interview. You're the defending champion. I gotta try and derail it as many times <laughs> as possible. <laughs> Challenging me in my job. No, you're back to UTMB again after winning in 20, 2019. How does it feel to be back here? Awesome. I'm so excited to be back. The, I mean, to see all of our friends that are over here who we haven't seen since 2019, and then to get to play on these trails will be really fun. I'm excited. I kind of feel like it's like the first day of summer break. They just let us out of like lockdown and we're all like <laughs> out spazzing around in Europe. Does it feel like that to you at all? Yes, with croissants and gelato. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like macaroni and cheese and what else did you eat when you were on Lunchables. summer break? <laughs> <laughs> with your perm and your bags, which we were just talking about off camera. Anyway, <laughs> we last saw you about six weeks ago at Hard Rock. How has your recovery and transition back to, yeah, training and prepping for this race gone? Better than expected. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to run 100 miles and didn't. <laughs> so my legs and body bounced back really fast. And then um, it's just been getting in a lot of training and trying to like tinker with some new nutrition ideas to solve the stomach problems. Um, yeah, so it was stomach problems that took you out at Hard Rock. And I think you had said you'd had stomach problems like at a, something prior to that too. You've been working on that puzzle? Yeah, just recently. It, uh, so it came up in a 50 mile race in June, um, but 50 miles was short enough where it didn't matter and then came up again in Hard Rock and unfortunately couldn't fake my way through a hundred miles. So um, it's been great though to like kind of force my hand to re-figure it out and to start again with this puzzle piece that I thought I had dialed in. It's cool. It's, um, I, just I just interviewed Francois and just asked him the same question, but it's a fun one. Uh, the last race you did was Hard Rock, which is like maybe the antithesis of UTMB. It's quiet, it's remote, and Chamonix is like busy and bustling and just buzzing. What's it like to go from there to here? I love both sides of the sport, mm. so I thought being at Hard Rock at the really mellow aid stations and rolling through Silverton was <laughs> awesome. Um, and we just got to town, so I haven't gotten like the full energy punch, but I'm excited to be in a town that's just buzzing with ultra running this week. So, Well, you're going to be walking around downtown in just a little while doing selfies and <laughs> signing autographs and kissing babies. I mean, not kissing babies. It's a pandemic. <laughs> No baby kissing. Baby <laughs> high fives. <laughs> baby fist bumps. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you, you've been over in Europe for a little while. Uh, a couple days. Yeah. What have you been up to? Uh, we spent some time over in Italy in a little mountain town that was off the UTMB course. And um, my husband and I just relaxed. We ate a lot of pizza and uh, got some jogs in. It was a uh, nice way to ease our way into Europe and get over the jet lag. Um, but a more important question, did you additionally eat gelato? Hello? We absolutely ate gelato. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, what flavors now? <laughs> Chocolate, pistachio, hazelnut. We're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you've done YouTube, UTMB once before. You kind of know what to expect. What are some things that you're really looking forward to on Friday and Saturday? Uh, I think just moving through this course. And mm. I was trying to remember all of the parts the other day <laughs> and there's so many blank spots. I'm like, I have no idea what that climb looks like. I don't remember this aid station. So I think there will be a good mix of like surprises that, you know, are kind of flashbacks and then actual parts I remember. Mm. It'll be cool. Well, best of luck to you on your loop around Mont Blanc and thank best you. of luck filling in those blank spaces in the memory map. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We'll see you out there. See you out there.